Hi my loves and welcome to your new painting progress video. In today's video I'm about to color the patron postcard I drew for February with gouache. But before that I'm filling the remaining pans of my new gouache palette which I still was compiling. It took a while because the colors you can see on the left, which are my Shinhen poster colors, dried up a bit because I haven't used them that often. And yes, if you're wondering, they are called poster colors, but they are quite the same as gouache as they also have this matte, chalky finish and are both opaque paints. I had this set for a while now, but it kind of felt inconvenient to use them out of their pots, so I'm quite happy that I finally took the time to reactivate them with water, mix it to a creamy texture and fill them into the pans of my new palette. It was indeed a really long process because I had to go and clean the end of my brush all the time, but I'm just very glad that I didn't have to throw them away like for example acrylic paint tubes because when those dry out they are not usable anymore. However, this is how my finished gouache palette looks like now. I sorted all the colors to my liking and now I just have to clip back the plate into its pink cute metal case. Let's start with the drawing. It looks like I'm creating my line art with a dark red colored pencil on top over my sketch, which I created in an orange color. But in reality, these will be my guidelines when I start to color it, because they will kind of get covered with gouache since it is, as I already told you, an opaque paint. That's why I'm going to add my true line art in the very end after I finished filling in all the base colors, shadows and highlights. And therefore I'm going to use a very thin brush and add all the finishing touches including the line art with some darker gouache colors and colored pencils. I always start with the skin, so I'm pre-mixing a light yellow-orange color and some darker orange to pink shades for the shadows. Since I don't want to run out of a color and require to mix the same shade again, I'm trying to create enough of the mixtures. Then I slowly start to fill large areas of her skin with the lightest color and add the orange and pink while it's still wet to create gradients. And after that I'm taking my smaller brush and add the remaining shadows and details, which I'm blending in with a tiny bit of water from time to time. First I wasn't sure if the fishnet tights will turn out as I imagined, because I drew in the shadows underneath first, but when I added the white lines on top it made it look really neat. I'm really glad how well it turned out and now her legs look like ice cream scones. <laughs> and after I was done with the skin, I carried on with the eyes and her head and then I started to color her hair. It was really difficult because the curls were quite complex and it took a while to add all the parts of the shading and blend all the colors together so it looked smooth. And most frustrating was it to continue with the pink part of her hair, since I was already super tired from shading the mint part. At some point I also needed to get back working on her eyes and finish them, because they looked a bit scary without eyelashes etc. But after I went to sleep I felt a lot better, so guys, don't overwork yourself and take breaks. Shading her pants was so much more fun and maybe at this point I already got used to the coloring process when using gouache. Sadly I couldn't film the whole process until the very end because I already filmed for so many hours, but here's the finished illustration. I really like how the mixing palette looks with all the pink and teal colors in it and I also wanted to show you this huge jar of white gouache paint which I bought in Russia a while ago as I already thought to myself that I would need it in future and I was totally right, because I needed so much white to create all these pastel shades here. Ah, uh, yeah. I also kept the background pretty simple because I already worked on this piece for so long and was kind of scared to overpower the character drawing, so I created this heart template out of paper and used it to create this even heart shape in the background. I really hope you like the result and if you're interested in my digital and physical rewards, you can always check out my Patreon in order to support me. It's of course not a must at all, but I highly appreciate it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day! Bye bye!